हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस आई नंबर 47 वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इम्यून चेक पॉइंट्स एंड इम्यून चेक पॉइंट इनहिबिटर्स दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर आई एन सी टी एंड नीट पी एग्जाम राइट सो इफ यू लुक एट द नॉर्मल टी सेल्स दे हैव टू टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन्स ऑन देयर सर्फेस वन विच विल एक्टिवेट द इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स रिमेंबर नंबर वन विल एक्टिवेट इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स एंड नंबर टू दे विल इनहिबिट द इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स right so there are two protein which will activate immune response second is which is going to inhibit immune response those who are inhibiting immune response they are called as checkpoint proteins right so these are two proteins activator proteins and checkpoint proteins present on the surface of t cell so if you look at the normal architecture of antigen presenting cells antigen presenting cell have a special molecule called as msc class 1 and second molecule is co stimulatory molecule called as b7 so msc class 1 and b7 these are the two molecules present on antigen presenting cell now look at the architecture of cd8 cytotoxic cell cd8 cytotoxic cells they have a two receptor on their surface one is cd8 receptor that is why they are called as cd8 t cells and second is the co stimulatory receptor called as cd28 so this is a co stimulatory receptor which is a receptor for co stimulatory molecule present on antigen presenting cell right co stimulatory molecule present on antigen presenting cell called as b7 right so this is the architecture apart from this cd8 cytotoxic cells they have a checkpoint inhibitor also like a pd1 program death 1 and ctl a4 cytotoxic lymphocyte associated 4 so these are two important checkpoint inhibitor but now in this condition we are seeing normal t cell so they are not activated they are not activated so normally normally what happens whenever antigen comes antigen presenting cell will be given to given to the msc class 1 molecule they will be coming to the cd8 cytotoxic receptors so msc class 1 will combine with cd8 receptor and this is how signal 1 will be formed right signal 1 has been formed but t cell is not activated for activation of t cell there must be completion of second signal also means co stimulatory signal where co stimulatory molecule b7 will combine with co stimulatory molecule called as cd28 and when this combination happens then your cd8 cytotoxic cell will be activated under normal immunological condition you understand so under normal immunological condition both class 1 signal and class 2 signal should be activated and now we are seeing cd8 cytotoxic cells are activated here we are not seeing any role of ctla4 or pdn1 right so what are these checkpoint proteins so checkpoint proteins there are three important checkpoint protein we have to remember remember who are the checkpoint protein ctla4 which is called as cytotoxic t lymphocyte associated protein 4 right second checkpoint protein is pd1 programmed cell death protein number 1 third one is pdl1 the ligand for the programmed cell death right so this is the ligand for the programmed cell death so these are total three checkpoint proteins which we have to see in this discussion ctla4 pd1 and pdl1 right and their full form already i have told you so here onwards i will be using only the short form right like ctla4 pd1 pdl1 right so now you can see how many checkpoint proteins are there three checkpoints now we are dividing them into two categories right ctla4 and pd1 is found on t cells now you understand so checkpoint as already i have told you right you can see that pd1 and ctla4 is present on surface of t cell right so ctla4 pd1 so ctla4 pd1 is present on t cells normally and pdl1 this is a death ligand protein which will be found on cancer cells right so these are important basic point about the checkpoint proteins right which will inhibit our immune system so what is the purpose of checkpoint protein checkpoint protein is going to inhibit our t cells i will show you later on how so checkpoint proteins are basically to inhibit our t cells so now just imagine what cancer cell will try to do cancer cells they will increase the level of checkpoint so they will increase the level of checkpoint why 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 they are giving going to increase the level of checkpoint so that they can inhibit the t cell you understand so checkpoint what i have said checkpoint protein is going to inhibit t cell and what will be the purpose of the cancer cell target of cancer cell is to inhibit the t cell how cancer cell will inhibiting the t cells 
the question is how cancer cell is going to inhibit the T cell by increasing the level of checkpoints right so by this mechanism what will happen T cell cannot kill the tumor cell that is how because see cytotoxic cell they are most potent anti-tumor cells which can kill the cancer cell now we are getting inhibited we are getting inhibition of T cells how by increasing the level of checkpoints right so now you understood this much so let's see how it will happen antigen presenting cell or tumor cells right they will be having MSC class 1 and CD8 cytotoxic cell interaction will start so signal 1 will be formed signal 1 will be formed see what was the criteria to activate cytotoxic cells when CD28 co-stimulatory molecule combines with co-stimulatory molecule B7 right so when CD28 co-stimulatory molecule receptor not a molecule co-stimulatory molecule receptor who is co-stimulatory molecule receptor 28 when they combine with their co-stimulatory molecule B7 then only CD8 was activated that was the activation which I have told you but now what is happening CD28 has been displaced who has displaced the CD, uh, CD28 so CTLA4 has displaced the CD28 and uh, now what will happen co-stimulatory molecule is combining with checkpoint protein so you can see that checkpoint protein has combined so when this checkpoint protein will combine with B7 what will happen now our CD8 cytotoxic cell which was effective against cancer cell has been inactivated so this is how they have been inactivated so now you can see that why I was telling you cancer cell will increase the level of CTLA4 when they are increased they will combine with B7 and they will displace the CD28 as a result now CD8 cytotoxic cell will be inactivated and they cannot kill our tumor cell this is the mechanism of CD8 cytotoxic cell now look at the another mechanism another mechanism you can see how antigen presenting cell and tumor cell when they are giving their antigen to class 1 molecule they will combine with CD8 receptor signal 1 was completed B7 can combine with co-stimulatory molecule receptor CD28 so we can see that it is about to activate it but what is happening remember what is happening here in this case tumor cell tumor cell they have pdl1 you remember checkpoint present on the tumor cell was pd ligand 1 so this pd ligand 1 will combine with pd1 molecule of cd8 cytotoxic cell see here what has happened ctla4 has displaced the cd28 but here pd1 pd1 is going to combine with pdl1 which is present on the tumor cell and this is how this combination remember this is a very important concept this pd1 and pdl1 will inhibit will inhibit this also this pdl1 and pd1 combination will inhibit this co-stimulatory interaction also so both can be inhibited by so this pdl1 pd1 interaction will inhibit signal 1 also this will inhibit signal 2 also and is, as a result cd8 cytotoxic cell is completely inactivated so this is the mechanism of checkpoint inhibitors in in checkpoint uh, protein not inhibitor checkpoint proteins to inhibit the cytotoxic cells right so what we can do to prevent the cancer cells or to eliminate the cancer cell we require drugs which are called as checkpoint inhibitors now we require protein called as checkpoint inhibitors who are the checkpoint inhibitors these are the drugs who will be inhibiting checkpoint proteins on the cancer cell so now you can see that cancer cells they are having checkpoint protein ctla4 pdl1 or ctla4 pdl1 pd1 so remember that these are all checkpoint present on the cancer cells so all these checkpoint proteins on the cancer cells they will be inhibited by checkpoint inhibitors so basically checkpoint inhibitors are the drugs which will inhibit checkpoint proteins like ctla4 pd1 pdl1 and by this they will inhibit the cancer cell right and in this in this event what will happen we will see the activation of t cell for killing of tumor cell this is how we can activate our our t cell or cytotoxic t cell to kill the or to eliminate the tumor cell right now look at this one this is the mechanism of checkpoint inhibitors you can see that antigen presenting cell normally msc class 1 will combine with cytotoxic cells B7 will combine with cyto, uh, CD28 receptor and this will activate cytotoxic cells, right? Who are inhibiting all these interactions? Who are inhibiting? 
those checkpoint proteins. Who are the checkpoint proteins? PD-1, PD-1, PD-L1 and CTLA-4, right? They were inhibiting. So what, what is the new concept of checkpoint inhibitor? This is called immune checkpoint inhibitor. So who are these immune checkpoint inhibitors? These are antibodies which will combine with these checkpoints. You understand? These are antibodies which will combine with these checkpoint. Who are these? These are antibodies who are combining with these checkpoints, right? So anti-CTLA-4 antibody will combine with CTLA-4 and they will neutralize them. As a result, this process will be continued. CD8 cytotoxic cell is activated. You got the point? So antibodies, we are preparing our artificial immune checkpoint inhibitor antibodies and these antibodies, they will combine with respective immune checkpoints. So anti-CTLA-4 is a immune checkpoint inhibitor which will combine with ctla4 they will inactivate them as a result b7 will combine with cd28 same for here also antibody of pt1 so anti pd1 will combine or they will engage pd1 as a result this signal one will be continued two will be continued and cytotoxic cell will be activated same way tumor cells which were having pdl1 they will be in inactivated by giving antibodies called as anti pdl1 and they will engage them and as a result both signal will be completed successfully and our cd8 cytotoxic cells will be activated to remove the cancer cells that is the basic concept of immune checkpoint inhibitors right so now who are the checkpoint inhibitor drugs you understand so we are coming to the checkpoint inhibitor drugs. So these are the drugs which are going to inhibit three checkpoints, right? They are going to inhibit three checkpoint proteins. So who are the checkpoint proteins? Just now we have seen CTLA-4, PD-1 and PDL one So you can see that how these, how these checkpoint proteins are inhibited by these drugs. These are the antibody, antibodies or monoclonal antibodies which will be inhibiting them. So who are these checkpoint inhibitors? So CTLA-4 inhibitors, right? So what are the examples? So, you know, examiner will be asking you, CTLA-4 in, in, example is ipilimumab. So ipilimumab is a immune checkpoint inhibitor which is used in the treatment of advanced melanoma and renal cell carcinoma. Remember, ipilimumab is for the treatment of melanoma and renal cell carcinoma. <coughs> Second checkpoint inhibitor is a PD-1 inhibitor. PD-1 inhibitor is, example will be nivolumab and pembrolizumab. So nivolumab and pembrolizumab is used for melanoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, non-small cell cancer of the lung and urinary tract cancer. So all these are treated by PD-1 inhibitor. And who are the PD-1 inhibitors? Nivolumab and pembrolizumab. And then third category is PD-L1 inhibitors. So PD-L1 inhibitors are atezolizumab, Avalumab, Durvalumab, right? So these are the three important PDL1 inhibitors. PDL1 inhibitor, Atazolizumab, is used for lung cancer, liver cancer, breast cancer, and urothelial cancers. Avalumab is used for Merkel cell cancer, and Durvalumab is used for non small cell cancer of the lung. So these immune checkpoint inhibitor, that is why it is very important because they will inhibit the checkpoint, and as a result, our T cell will be activated to remove the cancer cell and these are the examples of the three classes of inhibitors so which came in aims exam two or three times so keep revising this it can be your neat pg or fmg exam question also my best wishes to all